Hey man, say man, it's your boy Zabo TV back with another video, man. But today, this isn't a reaction, it's more so a review or my outlook and what I think about Power Book 3 Raising Canaan now. So, boom. For those who don't know, Power Book 3 is part of the, what they call it, the Power Universe, right? So, goddamn, you know how Marvel and all these superhero movies got like a uh, universe so like all right for example captain america might be in this movie but he end up fucking this bitch that end up being green goblin little nephew sister type shit so it all intertwined type shit but um this is the power book universe so uh yeah power book three raising canaan um it initially starts off where canaan's like hey man y'all know how my story ended this is where it began and a little bit in between so it starts off like in 1985 Born in the 80s, crack baby. Hey, man, I got that from Dolph. That shit hard. But, uh, yeah, this the 80s, man. So you already know drugs and shit got them ruthless out here, especially in the south side of Jamaica, Queen, New York area, man. That will fit the originally from. So, boom, you see 50 got them getting his ass whooped initially. He getting jumped by some young gunners, you feel me? Got them jukebox getting held up. She can't do shit. He run home. Rock goddamn is his mom. She like, damn, what this pussy ass nigga crying for? So Rock, dude she dealing with at the time, he ended up dying a year later. But, you know, 50 said he liked her. Well, not 50. Kanan said, I liked him. He treated us good. That nigga ended up snitching. He ended up getting killed a year later. So after that, it ended up just being him and his mom, which is Rock. So goddamn Rock is a true black mother. She don't play about them kids. And you're not finna come home, losing no fight, crying. Bitch, we finna go back and fight. Where they at? So, goddamn, they pulled up. 50 goddamn did his thing. He didn't goddamn, you feel me? Had a little whoop the whoop and beat them boys up. He said, hey, man, say, man, my, my, my name been hot in these streets ever since I've been doing shit like that. So, goddamn, fast forward, boom. It like 19, goddamn, 90-something, 90 91, I think, right? The nigga then got older, got down, 50 got down, feeling himself somewhat, you know. His family got down, you know. They doing shit in the streets, they selling dope or whatever. It's Rock, and then it's Rock, little brother Lulu, which is the right-hand man. And then it's Marvin, which is the big brother, who he loyal. He ain't really shit, but he loyal and he family. You could trust him, and he slick ain't. He ain't pussy. He a real nigga. So, boom. Got down where I'm at. Oh, yeah. So, boom. 50, I mean, Kane and got down. Oh, yeah, another thing about this shit, y'all. Tell me if I'm crazy. And I feel so crazy because I didn't lie to my mama. I'm sorry, mama. I didn't lie to my mama and told her, hey, you know, uh, what's the name playing Kane? She's like, who, what's the name? Spencer Jane from uh, All American. Bro, I swear to God, the nigga that playing Kane. Look, just like Spencer James, bro. If I'm lying, I'm dying, bro. I swear I thought Spencer James was playing Kanan. I was happy, too. I'm like, okay. My boy didn't got down. Got the All-America check. 50 got down there. Hey, you do this. But it ain't like that. It's the other nigga playing Kanan. Anyway, Kanan's older, and he has a decision to make because his mom has been informed as well as the school is informing him in front of his mom in the office. They're like, hey, man. You got a chance to goddamn make it, bro. You kind of smart on the low. All you got to do is take this test, and you go to the good school. The good school, this shit got escalators and white folks. You're you going to make it out, bro. You're going to be something. Came like, nah, I'm not feeling that shit. Fuck it, right? So, goddamn, after his mom dudes leave, you know, you get introduced to Jukebox, which is Kanan's cousin. Um, You get introduced to his crew. Um, and we get introduced to a young lady, which Kanan really, really loves, right? So she approached Kanan. She like, hey, uh, I seen your mama. She real pretty. I guess that's why you cute. She on this man, Kanan, me. Like, she got down want to get a man got got 3,000 off the muscle. And Kanan got down, didn't know what to say. You feel me? He ain't got shit, you know? He don't know how to whoop the whoop yet. He's still young. You feel me? And it's cool. We was all like that one time. But uh, she was on this nigga meet, but she just be fucking with him. Like, you know what I mean? But Kanan really trying to goddamn get in there. Um, but she fucking with this nigga named Buck or whatever, right? 
Buck got down, the young, smooth, fly nigga. Got the jewelry, got the Pele Pele motherfucker, the nice haircut. You know, he doing what he doing out here in these streets. So Cannon thinking like, God damn, I got to get like him, right? So boom, fast forward, got down um, Rock, which is Cannon's mother. Her and Lulu, which is the right-hand man, little brother. They go to the hospital because one of their boys and got shot up, man. They got shot up on their corner. They got them on some bullshit, right? So they like, damn, man, we got to get to the bottom of this, right? So goddamn, boom. Rock get to have a, a little meeting with um, Unique. Unique is actually played by Joy Badass. He plays a good bad guy. I didn't even know Brooke could act, but he did his thing. I'm going to be looking forward to Unique and Joy Badass. That's going to be real good, y'all. Y'all be tuned. Y'all stay in tune, for real. That boy can act now. So she like, hey, man. Yo, this is what it gonna be. This is what it gonna be. She like, hey man, say man, I know you running shit and you the biggest drug dealer because your brother locked up or in the feds or dead or whatever, but hey man, he would never come at me like that. So this is what we gonna do. You gonna get this block here and I'm finna get this extra block here. Now the extra block she talking about is usually a no man's land, but he like, you know what, you a female. Y'all not really have emotion like that. I'm big shit popping. So... You know what word is mine? Y'all get that shit, right? Boom. So I got down. Boom. Let me sip my lean one time. Ah. Lean. Woo! Boy, I love sipping mud. But anyway, we get to another scene, which is um people's favorite scene. You get everybody in one room, the whole family, the whole cast. You get Jukebox Dykin' Ass. You get Jukebox Daddy, who ain't shit. You get Lulu, Mr. Get In The Game. You get goddamn Rock, a.k.a. Mama, Miss Get In The Game. And goddamn Kanan, or whatever. And then you get his friends. But before I even get into that, I forgot. So they sell dope out of this club. They try to meet with the goddamn plug or whatnot, or the owner of the club. But the white lady was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo shit ghetto, bitch. Rock like, hold on, who you calling a bitch? He, she like, hey man, my plug got the clean clean. Y'all got that re rock. We ain't fucking with you, right? So Rock like, hey, you must not know about me, Beyonce voice. So got down little Aunt Lulu get in that game. Like, hold on, I got this sis. He got down. I think he trying to get in. There. I think he trying to fuck on a white bitch in my head, or maybe that's what I would do. But anyway, it's not about me. It's about Lulu. He handling that business or whatever. Getting shit squared. They got down Rock, which is Kanan's mother, right? She goes to the goddamn bar, and she meet this light-skinned nigga named Symphony, right? First of all, I don't trust no Shamar Moore goddamn Boris Kojo-ass nigga. First of all, this ain't no Tyler. You seen what happened in the Tyler Perry movie when the goddamn bus driver nigga. Wasn't he a bus driver? Oh, he was cutting grass. The nigga with the braids, right? You seen what happened? She left that bald-headed evil nigga. For the light-skinned nigga with a pretty eye, man. Don't trust that nigga around your hoe, man. <laughs> he gonna get in there. So they got them conversation. He like, man, I hope I see you around. You know, he got down trying to, you feel me? She like, all right. Boom. So fast forward to the scene I was telling you about. Everybody kicking shit. Yeah, you know I mean, they talking about goddamn Kanan, man. You smart as hell. He like, man, I'm trying to be in the hood. I'm trying to trap or die, bitch. Jukebox like, hey, I'm too old, man. I can't even take the Ted no more. Then he got damn Spanish homeboy famous come in, and then famous sister come in, and then Aunt Lulu got down with the getting that gang. He like, shit, that's your sister. He got down, she got down fucking with him too, right? Boom. Everybody kicking shit. They outside, they leave the bodega little restaurant, motherfucking dining spot. Aunt with the slime face who ain't shit starts screaming, get out! Shoot him! Ugly nigga, everybody like, ah, damn. So everybody dug it for cover and shit. Goddamn, it's Unique's boys. They send the message, they just shooting in the air. But not only is Unique boys, it's the nigga that Kanan don't like because Kanan getting his bitch fucked by Buck, which ain't even Kanan bitch. But he love this hoe and he'll die for this hoe and it ain't even his hoe. That would be prop, man. That's the problem with these nigga, man. I hate these niggas, man. You know them niggas that got down. What's the got? What's the song? Who made the song? Was it the Temptations or the OJ? She used to be my girl. 
But when it come down to it, it ain't even your girl. So why you doing all that, bro? Anyway, that's a side note. Can't even see who it was. He like, oh shit, that buck. Oh hell no, nah, alright. So boom, fast forward, whatever. Goddamn the bit that was talking shit or whatnot. The, the white hoe that was talking about some bitch you ghetto saying all this shit to rock or whatnot. Her goddamn little Mew Mew, her little cat, a little dog then got cooked up. Cut that shit up quick. Bit then got souffle in a microwave. Don't play with rock. Stop it. Don't play with us. She not one of them. She really mean business, bitch. Goddamn, then goddamn unique. Meet up with Whoop the Whoop again. She like, hey man, this what we gonna do. I'ma give you these corners, man. And we even, all right? He like, all right, bet. I got you. Come to find out, right? Kanan ain't know that shit. So Kanan, her partner was like, hey man, bucking them boys on your mama block, man. Them niggas being mad, disrespectful, B. I would knock they koofy off. You know how them New York niggas talk. So he like, word. So got down uh little bruh. Homeboy was like, hey man, I got some woo the woo. We could got down do woo the woo the woo. I think his name was D Nice or D Shice or whatever. D Shice, we're gonna call him D Shice. Yes, sir. So D Shice with the bullshit. He like, let's run down on these niggas, man. Walk them down. So got down, can they come out? You need uh little buck like, hey bro, what the fuck going on, twin? What the fuck popping with your pimpin' dog? He like, hey man, I ain't with that talking shit. Cannon, five, 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 five. Soldier boy challenged that nigga. And that was it. Say goodbye. So boom. Cannon and got into some shit with these folk. Cannon and killed him, man. And he said that's the first time he shot a gun. And he called a body. And he said he'll never forget that feeling. That shit stay with him to this day. So, that being said, rock on a date with goddamn Symphony, light skinned nigga. He trying to get in there. She fucking with hip pimping. She got down. Lulu come in there like, hey, man, we got to go. He already not fucking with the light skin, nigga. You can't trust him. So she like, fuck. She find out Cannon and called a body. She like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? And then he like, mom, oh, I'm trying to protect you. They were being disrespectful, B. All this shit. She like, you think you fucking know, Cannon, but you don't know shit. Don't none of y'all know type shit. And he was like, so you you wanted me to be here. You should have sent me to grandma. I, I want to be gang gang type shit. So goddamn, they get into it. She like, send your stupid ass to the room, man. So goddamn, he come downstairs. She like, you know what? I'm going to send your ass to your grandma house. He like, man, whatever. She like, throw that shit away, man. So when he go outside, right, which is dumb, you didn't call the body, you know niggas want your head. Why are you outside by yourself? Niggas start shooting at my boy Kanan. My dudes come out, shooting back. Kanan like, boy, I'm glad I ain't get hit. Then we get introduced to Omar Epps, dirty cop ass. His meat dud, milk dud, peanut colada head ass, peanut brittle head ass, jelly bean head ass, whopper head ass, milk dud head ass. Runts, the real runts head ass. God damn. We get introduced to him. He like, yo, man, word on the street. Your boy got money on his head. And we heard about what he's doing. So hey, he better watch his back. She like, man, my son ain't got nothing to do with nothing, man. Get the fuck out my face, puss ass nigga. That's what she told him in so many other words. So boom. Next day, unique with your big plug. Meet with Rock one more time. He like, hey man, say man. <laughs> that was my young nigga, right? And he got a lot of family and a lot of people that fuck with him and love with him on the south side. So listen, I can only do so much, but I can't help if niggas wanna retaliate. Oh yeah, and them corners, they mine. So damn. Oh yeah, he also said some other shit. He was like, listen, regardless of the situation or not, Kanan is um you and Defcon or Def whatever Kanan. We found out who Kanan daddy is, right? Allegedly, I guess he's some street nigga, but he was like, he was born into this shit, whether he like it or not. So we get introduced to, okay, Kanan got a father, and he seemed like a real nigga. 
So you can't help that this young nigga wild. Mom ain't shit. Dad ain't shit. You feel me? So goddamn. Now Rock, as a mama, she like, what I'm going to do? And she, it's only one thing she can do. She like, hey, man, moving to her grandma ain't going to save you for these nigga killing you, bro. So you want to be gang gang? Hey, man, I'm going to put you on to the street like young nigga. Let's do it. And that's what it was, man. I think it's going to be a good show. That pretty much a quick Zabo TV summary. And I'm going to give y'all more summaries and more goddamn reviews and more recaps as the weeks come on. Power Book 3, Raising Canaan. This your boy Zabo TV. I'm out.